Hey guys, it's Merely43 and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm playing Domination on the map Radiation, playing with the Org Dual Mag. It's my best friend in this game, absolutely. And I'm using, or oh, am I using Flap Jacket, Steady Aim Pro, and Hacker. Now, I want to talk to you a little bit about Steady Aim or Sight Hand in just a second. Uh, there's a very good reason why I'm using Steady Aim, and I want you guys to have a listen and see if I can convince you to do that. But I'll talk to that about that in a minute. What I want to say first is I'll leave my gamer tag in the description below. And uh, if you guys feel like you want to play with me on Xbox, I'm afraid I don't have a PS3. Um, if you want to play on the Xbox with me, that's cool. And we'll rape some face just like this game. Um, we have tri triple cap pretty much the whole game. Uh, it's very easy. It's, uh, yeah, easy pickings really. And, yeah, that sort of thing. Can't really say much about it. The other team were like playing capture the flag with domination. It was, uh, it was, it was kind of like that. They were kind of walking up to a flag and going, well, why isn't it following me? But, um, <laughs> that's kind of harsh. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so, steady aim or sight of hand, right. So, I'm assuming a lot of you use sight of hand pro, right? A lot of you, you know, it's pretty obvious. It says, faster aiming down sights. So, you're like, yeah, I want to be quick reaction. It's a reaction-based game, so I'm going to, you know, have awesome reactions with sight of hand pro. Well, that's not exactly the case, right? So sight hand speeds up the time from when you pull the aim down sights button and to when you're actually looking down sights, right? So that, that's pretty self-explanatory. What does Steady Aim do? Steady Aim Pro does uh, a few things. It obviously reduces your uh, uh, hit fire thingamajigo, uh, but that's not important. The thing that it does do with Pro is speeds up the time between from when you run to when you can pull down the trigger to fire. Now, let me ask you a question. What's more important to you, aiming or shooting? If you had a choice to do something, what would you do? Uh, this is the best ex explanation I can do of this uh, sort of thing. Uh, so basically, if you're trying to be a reaction king in the court uh, game Black Ops, I would suggest using Steady Aim Pro, not Sight of Hand. Sight of Hand does help from time to time. Uh, with reloading, uh, but the percentage of the time, if you're a run and gun player, then steady aim is definitely going to help you out a whole lot more than um, than what you'd expect. So uh, give it a try, and if you don't like it, then uh, yeah, leave a comment and be like, "Yo, Ollie, you're such a liar. I hate you." All right, so moving away from that weird mood sort of a thing, um, let's talk about camping in Call of Duty. Right, so this is going to be probably. I hope, no, it's not going to be the last video. I want it to be the last video. I hate how stupid this argument is. Uh, the YouTube community is so fucked up with camping as a whole, right? And it really bugs me. So people, like, moan and bitch about camping and Call of Duty. Uh, but people don't understand the fine line between camping and playing smart. There is a line there, and people, MLG players especially, get a lot of heat for this. They're like, uh, you know, some... Some kids will go on their videos and be like, you're not MLG, you're just camping. And it is really pathetic, right? He's, the guy is playing smart. And when I watch these videos, it, it does frustrate me that these people are hating on this guy for no reason. And I know someone's going to be like, hate is going to hate. But the point is, they shouldn't have to. They should understand that it's completely stupid. And I'm going to rant and tell you why they are stupid. Right. So, camping is not being anywhere near the objective it's not being the battle you know when you're playing a game and the battle is like one side of the map camping is playing in an area of the map which does yay you got my puppies it's playing in an area which is completely irrelevant look at these two bitches so annoying um it's playing in an area that is completely um not relevant to the actual game the situation that you're in okay playing smart and playing defensively is is, is, is not a bad thing if you know that there is a room next to the objective that if you sit in and people have to walk through to get to the objective that's not camping that's playing smart camping is sitting pointlessly in rooms that are completely irrelevant to the game and situation and uh, some of you may disagree that's fine just explain what how you disagree in the comment section below uh, that guy just saved me so I need to say a thank you to guest whoever that is um, that's the problem with dogs, right? Like, you get dogs, and you'll be shooting someone, and then your dogs will bite somebody, the little hundred points will come up on your screen, you'll be like, okay, I don't need to fire anymore. And then he shoots you, and you're like, oh, man. 
Anyway, what was I saying? Completely lost track of what I was actually ranting about there. But yeah, the uh, YouTube community needs to like grow a pair. You know, I'm not speaking for every YouTube user here. Uh, I'm just talking about the haters. You just need to wisen up a little bit, right? Camping and playing defensively are two completely different things. Camping is annoying when, you know, you know, you just walk into a random room because you're going from A to B and some guy's just looking at a door. That's camping and, you know, that's allow you're allowed to be annoyed at that. But being, anno being annoyed at someone for watching an objective or playing smart in a defensive way is not a reason to hate on them. And, you know, if you feel that you have grounds to moan about it, then you need to grow up, is all I need to say. The guy is posting gameplay, and, you know, ah, that's that's my rant over. But um, this game is, uh, I, yeah, I actually died twice in this game, but I die at uh, the very last 30 seconds. And it's pretty pretty stupid. So this is a nice little tactic. If you get someone into last stand, um, leave them for a few seconds for their buddy to come along and try and revive them, and then come back and get the double kill. Uh, you guaranteed the kill anyway, so you know that's what I do. Real noob move there. I took my eye off where the enemy was spawning. That was a huge mistake. But this next death, I want to see if you can see the guy before I do. So uh, have a little watch. <laughs> when I when that happened, I was like, "Holy shit!" That guy scared the crap out of me. God tell ya. Uh, but anyway, guys, that is a rape game. That is 231. I got 23 kills. I got two deaths. Uh, I got four captures, five defends. That is a good game in domination. And this has been Ollie43. Leave a rating, leave a comment, and hopefully I'll see you on a gameplay. All right, take care.